OB appointment. When you don't feel like tweezing, this. It's giving like spring, summer in Greece. The only, the only zonk. Right? Zonk? Yeah, the only zonk. <laughs> Alex, you're nuts. Listen, I have zero shame. Zero shame in admitting this. Oh, oh my God. month OB appointment. I hope we get to see the baby today, but I don't, I don't know. Okay guys, the appointment went so well. Um, we got to hear baby's heartbeat on the Doppler. His heart rate was 142 and it was so funny because he kept moving around. Like he's moving a lot and she's like, can you feel him? I'm like, not real, not really. Like, I don't think I can feel him yet. And he's still small. Um, but yeah, like every time she'd like get to one spot and like get the heartbeat and then he it would like go away and she's like, oh, he's moving and we'd like chase him around my stomach. It was so funny. It was so funny, but it was so cool to hear his heartbeat again and just know that he's like doing okay because, you know, it's always just very scary. Um, so that was beautiful. I wanted to cry, but she did tell me too. She's like, get sleep while you can because he's moving so much now when he's bigger and you can feel him like you are not gonna be able to sleep and i'm like oh car <laughs> he's an active little guy but i'm just so happy he's doing okay i just i'm always looking down like are you okay in there because <laughs> you can't really feel him yet so <sighs> i have um my 20 week scan in like three and a half weeks that's more in depth like we have to go to a different place to do like a more in-depth one where they like look at the organs and stuff so that'll be really cool Whew, such a relief i'm like after every appointment, I'm like, okay, we're still okay. I don't know. It's absolutely petrifying. Being pregnant is petrifying. Like beautiful and amazing and exciting, but petrifying. <laughs> All right, you guys, back home, switched to the vlog camera. <sighs> but I am just about to get ready for the day. I love making appointments first thing in the morning so you can just get them out of the way. I don't know about you guys, but like I, if I have an appointment in the afternoon, I'm just anxious the whole day especially if i'm gonna go check on the baby so i never unpacked my makeup from our weekend trip last week let me know if you're also like this i will not unpack it until i'm like doing my makeup again and then i just use what's in there and then put it away and that's how it is when i pack too like i'll do my makeup and each step put it in the bag so i know i'm not missing anything i have some stuff that i need to do around the house but i also need to go do a return to Old Navy. Last night, I wasn't vlogging yesterday, but last night after dinner, Yara and I got the urge to just like go out for a little bit. Um, so we were at this outdoor mall. I also just washed my sponge. It's stained, but it's clean. So I've been wanting to go into Old Navy. I wanna get like a new zip up sweatshirt because the one I wear now, I wear it all the time. And it's from Old Navy. It's like this gray cropped zip up. And I wish I could get another one. It's kind of shrunk in the wash where like the sleeves come really short, but like I liked it. It's like a cropped oversized fit, but it's got like scrunching at the bottom. So it kind of gives a little bit of shape. I just love it so much. I really need to find another zip up sweatshirt that's not full length because for the spring, most days I just wear like an athletic tank and then I wanna throw that over it. Okay, why does this look really light? I guess I'm still a little tan from Florida. I'm gonna put a, there we go, that's better. <laughs> so yeah, I've been wearing it like every day, washing it every couple days, cause I just wear it so much. So I was so excited to like pop into Old Navy. They always have like a good kind of graphic zip up hoodie and they didn't have any. I did end up grabbing a few dresses cause I just know this summer with the bump, I'm just gonna wanna wear like comfy flowy dresses all summer, which actually sounds like a dream. So I found a few, but I didn't try them on in store. Um, but one of them I just don't want to keep. It's just a little, little too tight and I'm like, mm, I'm just going to be getting bigger. So I'm going to go back over to that outdoor mall and return it. And then I'm also going to pop into Lululemon because I am so intrigued by the scuba zip ups, but like they're like a hundred dollars and they have a size XL slash XXL in store. I was shocked it's in store, God bless. And they have this really pretty green color at the location that I was looking into, but I definitely, it's not one of those things I wanna like just order online and have to return. I wanna go in 
and try it on and see how the fit is. So with returning that dress, it's like the Lululemon's on sale, it's girl math. A refund here means a free purchase there. That's what they say in girl math world. Oh my God, I need to do my eyebrows really bad. <laughs> when you don't feel like tweezing, this. When I was younger, I didn't tweeze at all. I just used eyebrow razors. I grew up on these. Just a little cleanup. Oh my God, I also feel like I found the most amazing invention ever. You guys know, I love wearing my hair up in clips. I love it. But when I want to like lay my head back in the car, or like today when I had my OB appointment, I knew I'd have to lay down and the clip is so uncomfortable. I saw this and I was like, this is genius. Look at these hair clips. It's flat. <laughs> it's flat but it does the same thing as a regular hair clip. I'm obsessed. I got like this three pack on Amazon, like super cheap, like two different brown colors and like a white color. So if you also love wearing your hair in a clip, but wanna be able to lay down or like rest your head in the car, whatever, these are life-changing. I'll link the pack that I bought. I just think it is absolutely such a great idea. All right, I think I'm just going to throw on a YouTube video and finish my makeup. I don't know why I'm doing a full situation right now. I haven't worn like full makeup in a few days and I'm just, I'm just craving it. So if you know, you know. Okay, so I just finished my makeup minus my lips. So I got these new little, new little lippies from Clio. I really love Clio. I used their highlighter today and like, oh, look at that. So pretty, it's their Prism highlighter in gold sheer. I've been wearing it like all the time. So here are the lip products. I, first of all, I'm in love with um, these containers here like they're just like acrylic and so pretty we've got the colors gentle cinnamon and all their stuff's very neutral too it's um korean cosmetics daily mauve vintage apple and blushed peach i think i'm gonna do hmm oh, they all look really pretty we're gonna go ahead and try the peach we're gonna try blushed peach because that just sounds like so neutral and pretty i've been trying to embrace my natural lip shape without lip liner so we're just gonna <laughs> Just gonna go for it here. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that is so, oh, it's so pretty. Actually, guys, the formula of this feels very similar to these Rare Beauty lips. Like very, 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 very similar. All right, so nice on the lips. But when I tell you these feel like <laughs> identical in texture, so if they give a little, bit, a little bit of a stain like the Rare Beauty, then I would definitely call this a dope. See, here's my problem. Now I just wanna like mix them. <laughs> I wanna put the Daily Mauve on top and it's like a little more nudie. Oh yes, there we go. Cute, really nice pigment. Okay, so we'll see how these wear, but they're from Amazon. I will link them. So we're ready for the day. All right, let's go ahead and do our return and potentially See of what the Lululemon scuba is all about. I had bought a dupe on TikTok and I didn't, I didn't love it. It was very, it's good. I don't think it's giving the real thing. So people rave about it. We'll see if it's overhyped or not. Okay guys, I'm filming a little uh, Instagram reel with the Old Navy dresses just for shits and giggles. So I want to show you guys them in the vlog too if you didn't see the reel, but this is the first dress. I love this one, definitely keeping this one. It's got like just a perfect flow, especially with bump for the summer. It's like a gauzy linen fabric. I am about 5'8", and it comes right above my knee. It does have a little slit here. It's double layered, which is nice, so it's not like see-through, and I feel like it flows out 
kind of nice with the pockets so it gives you like a little bit of shape even though it's baggy and then it's kind of like loose i don't know it's really cute i love this little um like ruffled neckline here and they also had it in like a light blue and like a royal blue which i loved and patterns i'll link these three dresses it's so easy breezy you could wear like sneakers or dress it up with like nice sandals definitely keeping this one too this has such mom energy to me it comes right to mid chin ish it's like a perfect midi dress i love the pattern it's giving like spring summer in greece again bump friendly because right here is all smocked and then just like a V neckline here. More pockets. I can always count on Old Navy to give me a good pocket dress. And then in the back, it has a tie. I got all of these in the XXL. Love this one, keeping this one too. Let me show you the one I think I'm gonna return today. Okay, so it's like linen and it does have a little bit of smocking in the back, but it's like, oh, it just feels a little bit tight. If I wasn't pregnant, I think I would keep it, but like, I just don't think it's gonna be bump friendly just because it's not stretchy or like super loose but this like sweetheart neckline is just stunning actually i could probably just order a size up online because they only had up to the xxl in store but the color is so pretty this like lime green i love the midi length so yeah it just just feels a little too tight but the other two are going to be so great and bump friendly for summer all right you guys here is the fit check also look at how pretty we changed the tv background I'll get a better close up for you, but it's like cherry blossoms. It's so pretty for spring. Here is the fit check. I ordered these on Target's website. So I got the 2X and they are way too big, but I didn't feel like returning them and they do have a drawstring, but I think the 1X would have been better. So if you get these, you can probably go down a size, but they're so cute. I love green right now and they're just like super comfy. They're like wide leg cargo sweats i'll link these two i think they're so comfy so cute great for spring and then this is a skims top and i'm still in love with my amazon slippers these are wide foot friendly perfect for spring they have memory foam they're so comfy they're like waffle i could literally see like skims selling something like that for like 50 dollars. <laughs> even though i love my skims but i love wearing these around the house so i don't slip and it keeps my feet like warm but not hot so i'll link those again too so yeah yours gonna come with and i think we're gonna grab sweet green for lunch see how pretty it is i hope it shows on camera and then i turned these pillows around because the orange was bothering me even though there is some orange in here but yeah that's the new background okay first stop old navy return and then we're gonna do a quick lululemon check and then sweet green that is true i'm wearing the kirkland costco hoodie oh my which, god for the freaking price <laughs> It's the best hoodie I've ever worn in my life. It's amazing. Guys, it was like 15 bucks. It feels, it literally feels like Lululemon. <laughs> Honestly, that qual. It's just nice and thick. It's thick and soft. And the stitching and the ribbing, like everything is just, the only, the only zonk, right? Zonk? Yeah, the only zonk <laughs> is that I don't like that it's fully zippered. Oh, what do you I want? Like, just, like a Yeah, just a regular pullover? normal hoodie with the, um, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, pockets, yeah. Pockets yeah. that is just like one Big they didn't have any there. no they didn't have any does costco have online <laughs> so i was trying to buy one of these online but black and i couldn't find it but they have the link and i click on it and it says like that 404 website not found type uh... situation and uh it's frustrating and annoying i think but i think you might need a login if we had a membership and logged in yeah that page might be visible to us i don't know oh maybe that. it's because we don't have a membership right all right, the ultimate question. Is Yarman gonna get anything a little bit? I might. <laughs> I know you will. I am obsessed with spring trees right now. Pretty flowers. All right, I'm hoping, it said they had it on the app, but they have a really pretty green colored one. Thank you. It is in fact not oversized. Secured the salads. Secured the goods. Buona. Okay, I have such a beef with the Lulu, the Lulu. I'm really glad I tried that on in the store because I feel like if I had ordered it online and got it in, I would have been so disappointed. Um, yeah, the XL slash XXL, it fit like a normal sweatshirt and it's supposed to be oversized. So sick, love that. Um, but also don't. <laughs> I'm also salty that they don't have the full range of up to 20 in store when they have up to 20 online and the store only goes up to 14, um, which is just like, it's just so dumb. 
it's just so dumb all the people who have extended online like can you please just put it in store i just want to shop in the store for men right yeah like i have this issue too where you know i have i look for a large because that's my usual size yeah however i have to make sure that i look at the fit because oh. if it's a slim fit or a classic fit or a relaxed fit i only fit in a large that's a relaxed fit yeah so it sucks because like it's in like small little fine print it's not like yeah. big and known right <laughs> like when you go to the store like there's not like big signs that say this is the relaxed fit section <laughs> this is the classic fit yeah section. they do and then you'll buy it and you you'll, know? you'll get and home like, and be like what the heck why right so yeah i agree like, so like was your sizing like does it say whether it's classic fit or slim fit or um i mean i didn't know all i knew is that online i had looked at it and it said it had like an oversized fit so <laughs> yeah for me usually i go a size up for um, slim if it no i i never go slim I, I hate tight clothing um i go a size up if it's classic fit so for a classic fit i'm an extra large mm -hmm. and then for relaxed fit i can fit in my usual large yeah but if i'm shopping at a place like old navy American sizes, nice and big. Yeah, I, I can get away with a large. Yeah, good old, you know? good old knaves. So yeah, I'm just, I'm very salty. So I was looking on their site to see if they had any like zip ups in a in like a twenty, like that was so that we could get that oversized fit. But they only have like the defined ones that are like tight, and I just don't, I don't want that with with the bump right now. So, um, the hunt continues. None at Old Navy. I'm shocked. Old Navy's like the spot for a good graphic hoodie. So, um, maybe I'll check Boohoo. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The Harvest Bowl is life. <laughs> dun dun. Many hours later. Okay guys, so small update. I do think I got a little bit of a stainage from the lip. I just threw on some chapstick, but I still feel like I have some color to it. But it is now 4.30 and I was just doing some editing on the computer. We're actually gonna head over to my mom's when she finishes work around six and Yara's gonna install her bidet that he got, <laughs> that he got her for her birthday because Yara and I are obsessed with the bidet. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. Like, I don't, I don't know why it's funny. I don't know. But she was fascinated and she wanted one. So she got him one and we're going to go over there and he's going to install that and I'm going to cut her hair. Uh, her hair has been growing so quick. She wants me to just kind of like even out the bob. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along for that. But first, let's, let's do the little TikTok. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. Oh yes, this is so good. Mm. This is 100% my favorite flavor of poppy. And I like low key love that they only come in the big ones. So I have to, <laughs> I have some packages to open. Where did I put the box cutter? And I'm gonna open the funniest one first. I'm not even gonna make you wait. I open the door to this. It's huge, but it's light. Alex, you're nuts. Listen, I have zero shame. Zero shame in admitting this. So we had decided that we were gonna do our um, baby shower theme, like bear themed, like we can barely wait. It's what I've always wanted in the back of my head. Like I've always just had that and he was cool with it, whatever. So that's what we're doing. And you guys are probably like, Alex, you're like 17 weeks. I'm gonna be 17 weeks when this vlog goes up. But alas, <laughs> we're having our baby shower. Um, I think I'll be like 26 weeks ish um because we had to book the venue because june was filling up if you've been following the vlogs it's been filling up like crazy um so we finally found one locked it down great we are doing a co-ed baby shower it's just gonna be like a big a big party it's gonna be nice when we were kind of <laughs> kind of looking at venues and stuff i started kind of like seeing what would go on a registry then all of a sudden i'm looking at decor because i'm like i'm gonna do the decor myself I'm gonna start planning this now. Not really taking a step back and I'm like, Alex, this is like, <laughs> it's like two months away. So I thought this was gonna take like a month to come in. This came in so fast, but I was looking at stuff on Etsy. I was looking at how much it was to hire like a party planner decoration person. And I'm like, I can do this myself. <laughs> so I like went on Canva and I created my own poster from one of the templates. And then I uploaded it on 
this poster board website. This is actually psychotic. I, I'm psychotic. But I'm also choosing to own it because I'm excited about my first baby. <laughs> and for anyone who's wondering the timeline of our baby shower, um, we have friends coming in from out of state with specific jobs and weekends they can do. And then we also have something in July that messed up with, just the schedules were very hard. So doing it at the end of June was the best plan for us and the people that we wanted like to really have there. But I, I feel pretty comfortable doing it anywhere after six months. I do know people who have done it also around six months. I know some people who do it a lot later at like eight months. Um, but it's a personal choice and that's just what we're doing, but I've, I've seen some questions about that. So just to clear it up. I'm also excited too, cause it's still not gonna be like summer yet. It's not gonna be too hot. And then we can like use the items we receive um, from our baby shower to, you know, go into the nesting mode of those last couple months. So I think it's gonna be a, a good plan. All right, I really hope, <laughs> I hope this came out good. I uploaded it in like the highest quality and it was like really affordable. This is just like the sign for the baby shower. Oh, oh my God. Shut up, it's so cute. This looks so professional. Guys, this, this looks so legit. Oh, thank God. Isn't that so cute? Are you gonna die? I, I just kept it like really simple. Welcome to our baby shower. With this cute little bear and the balloons. Oh, okay, wow. I'm so impressed. So yeah, I'm just gonna like, cause if you guys didn't see, if you're new here, I had a backyard wedding with my hubby. We did it like still kind of during the pandemic. We, yeah, we, we eloped alone. And then a year later we had a backyard wedding. Um, and I did all the decorations myself. Everything was from Etsy handmade it was a labor of love and i loved how everything came out so i'm like if i can do my own wedding i can do a baby shower so i'm just gonna get an easel i'm so mad i don't have the easel from our wedding anymore i don't know if it broke or if i got rid of it in the move or and donated it i don't know but i'm just gonna get an easel on amazon and save it <laughs> and put this on and then i have a plan for my display i'm not going full balloon arch but there will be balloons I'm thinking of this little teddy bear where he's like holding a bouquet of balloons, it looks like. I have a vision. So do I have this two months early? Yes. <laughs> but I know I'm not gonna change my mind about the theme. And uh, it's such a cute keepsake. I love it. <laughs> this makes me wanna cry. I feel so emotional. I swear, you guys, the second trimester hormones are hitting. Okay, but I do like the packaging of this. I'm gonna keep this nice and secure <laughs> the next thing i open is is too perfect no like you guys are gonna friggin crack up so i ordered this on amazon and it wasn't on prime it was a little longer to ship but i have been obsessed with baseball hats i feel like i never vlog when i'm wearing them but the days i don't vlog i'm always wearing baseball hats so <laughs> this one is so perfect for this vlog for just so many reasons <laughs> look it says delulu lemon <laughs> So this is funny for many reasons. I didn't even know it was coming today. Um, but the fact that Lululemon is a little Delulu because they don't have full sizes in store. And I am Delulu for ordering baby shower stuff two months in advance. Hey, babe. <laughs> yes? Are you vlogging? Yes. Oh, I thought you were crying. Oh, you thought I was crying? No, I'm laughing hysterically. But I, I love that you care enough to ask. Come, can you come here? Do you have a moment? This is a little... <laughs> so I thought this was gonna take a while to come in. I understand it's a little early. <laughs> but look what I made. It's actually really nice. Isn't that amazing? This was like $30. Because I made it on Canva, exported it in the highest quality, and then I just had it printed on Styrofoam. That's my girl. <laughs> It looks so professional. This would be really a good. lot more elsewhere. <laughs> oh my. I'm a party planner. What? I should plan parties. <laughs> I could plan a party. You're great. You're great. Like, plan everything. Thank you. Like, wow, I really like that. Can I touch it? Yeah, isn't that awesome? I'm so impressed with the quality. Like, it's not grainy. I was kind of nervous it'd be grainy. It's like perfect. And look at our little boy. Oh! We've got two months ahead, but that's all right. It's okay to get excited about things, people. You don't have to get all weird. And then look at this hat I got. Delulu lemon. 
You're living your best life. <laughs> <laughs> I am living my best life. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Delulu lemon. Yeah. That's me. I'm yeah. Delulu. I still don't know what exactly that means. Delulu is delusional. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna fade away. All right. I don't know what this is. It's heavy. I've been drinking. That song has been stuck in my head for I think like three weeks. Okay. What's in this box? Oh, it's pink. Oh. What is this? MCO Beauty, Australia's number one beauty brand. And it's now available at all these stores, which I don't have near me. <laughs> I think I'm a little delirious. Oh, it's upside down. That's why. Okay, I'm definitely a little delirious. I woke up at 3 a.m. Took me a while to fall back asleep. Oh, it went everywhere. Okay, wait, I'm really excited to try all this. Oh, it's giving Charlotte Tilbury dupes. Oh my God. No, this looks... A lot of it is the same. These like highlighter wands, the bronzy drops. Oh yeah, this looks, oh yeah. And then this, oh my gosh. This looks like Drunk Elephant. This looks like Glossier, they've got dupes. This is fun. Oh my God, and then this one looks like Drunk Elephant. Wait, okay, it's available at Kroger, Fred Meyer, Ralph's. I know a lot of people have Ralph's near them. We don't have one. Fry's, Smith's and then affiliated stores. I can't wait to try this, a contour stick. Like it looks so good and it's like super more affordable than, oh wait, these got a little messed up. I wanna put them in their correct spots. Then like the Dior lip oil dupe. No, I wanna like do an entire face with this. And I mean, they do have a website, mcobeauty.com. So I'm gonna try it all. That's actually really fun. Thank you for sending me this. You guys, I am so upset. I am editing this vlog. I was I was so tired and between that and pregnancy brain, last night was trash night. I accidentally threw the whole box away. I'm no, like I'm so upset. I was genuinely so excited to try. I'm so sad. I'm gonna have to buy it because I just feel horrible. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. Like I just I was put, I was putting boxes in the recycling and I Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Frenchie. I just bought my mom that Frenchie spray. Oh my god. Ashley! I am so happy like i'm so happy i've been wanting to buy all of this thank you so much oh my gosh okay we've got a soothing body serum stick with magnesium soothing comfort cashmere vanilla smells like cozy vanilla toasted jasmine rice and sandalwood what do you do with it it's a body serum stick oh it's not Everything from Frenchie smells so good. I'll check if it's pregnancy safe. All of this. I'm pretty sure I've looked into magnesium. Seems like a good, good old go. Unwind and rest lavender cloud hand serum. Mood science technology. Yeah, she's got like um, stuff with the scents for it to be like uh, mood enhancing. And then we've got the Palo Santo Sage body wash. Everything from Frenchie smells incredible. Like so high quality. It smells like you're getting something from like Le Labo. Oh my gosh. And then we've got the perfumes. These are the ones, I got one of these for my mom. So this is the Unwind and Rest Lavender Cloud Perfume. These are the mood science ones. So this is Unwind and Rest, like I said, Lavender Cloud. Then the Soothe and Comfort Cashmere Vanilla. And then we have Present and Grounded, the Palo Santo Sage. And that was the smell of the body wash. And who doesn't want to be present and grounded? Um, I'm also in love with the packaging. I feel like this brand has blown up lately and like for great reason. Oh, that smells, what does that smell like? That has something very nostalgic in it. Oh, I like it. I like it, Picasso. Oh, that made my day. Okay, well this was a whole, the whole random unboxing oh wait we have we have one more thing a new miranda fry item you guys know i love my <gasps> hold up these are so freaking beautiful wendy huggies in gold look at these huggies they're it's like pearl gem pearl gem <gasps> oh my god 
get a good can you guys like see how it's rotating pearl and then stone omg these are stunning i want to put them in now and then pretty much you guys know you guys you guys know the miranda fry drill i don't take this off fashion jackson bracelet then i've been wearing the moonstone uh zodiac charm my discount code for their site is fearless you can get a discount and free shipping love their jewelry at like such good quality and they have so many good size inclusive options oh these are so pretty and sometimes it's nice to just live in a huggy you know what i mean for like a few days where you just like don't put in real earrings you just leave these in and i have very sensitive ears so i love that i can leave these in all right good thing it's recycling day tomorrow because we've got a lot of boxes here but all right i will see you guys over at my mom's a few moments later are you happy to be at grandma's oh Yay! so happy the tushy oh there it is bidet time tushy, tushy, tush. okay okay so here it is i'm showing my mom how to work it so <laughs> So there's the little spout back there. There's my spout. Okay, so here's the aimer right here. Oh, Jesus. When, but I'm, I I personally think all the way back is the best, but you can move it forward, but I have it all the way back. Wait, so where does the water come out? This. But it's pointing down. Uh, the hole will open when it... Shouldn't it be pointed at my butthole? A hole will come out right here. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to say this. You turn this knob to turn it on. Don't go hard do a tiny bit this is very powerful <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a lot it's amazing i kind of want you to try it <laughs> i'll turn the camera can i do in the privacy <laughs> I don't know. all right you guys we're back home and guess what time it is it's fruit time fruit time we've got strawberries raspberries and blueberries the whole trifecta yard's doing his eye drops I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I want to love fruit this much for the rest of my life. Um, so my mom is obsessed with the bidet. <laughs> we got it on Amazon for our house and for hers. All at length of bidet. It, it was life changing. You can install it yourself at home. Nothing fancy. It just attaches to the toilet. She tested it. <laughs> and she loved it. Not with the bathroom visit, but she just wanted to see anyway she loved it <laughs> i'm very excited for her for her new journey <laughs> so uh, it's eight o'clock we are going to watch our show <laughs> we love money heist Great. it's like one of the best shows i've ever watched i didn't cut her hair oh my god i forgot to bring my scissors well actually i didn't bring my scissors on purpose because my mom's been doing her own hair for years so i figured she had scissors and her scissors were so dull, it like just bent her hair <laughs> when I tried to cut it. So we didn't cut her hair. So I'm gonna go back another day and cut it. So stand stand by for that. But all right, that's the end of this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Do you have to go potty? He has not wanted to go out most of today because of the rain. Are you gonna go out? Go potty poopo. He'll he'll only go in the rain if it's like an actual pee emergency. Go poopo. Oh boy, go.